Today we are going to be tasting the Hellier's Road slightly peated 10 year old whiskey. Hi, I'm Jo, this is Maximo. Today we are looking at another Hellier's Road whiskey. A, an Australian or Tasmanian whiskey. Yes. So this is the second whiskey um, that we're reviewing of the big auction purchase. Yes. So we've done uh, one, this is the second one. Mm -hmm. But we've tried a Helios Road before. We have. A little while the, back. The original. And you did quite like that. I did quite like that. Yes. And that's why I've ended up with two of these um, slightly peated. Two of these. Ten year old bottles, yes. Two, exactly the same. Two. Uh, a different price. This one, I paid $72.50. Australian dollars um, at auction and the recommended retail price is approximately $132. So mm -hmm. that was um, That's a good saving. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it's Sorry, almost. You got two of these exactly the same or two different? Two exactly the same, but I, I think I paid $82 for, for the other oh. auction. So. Ah, I see. All right, you got them at different prices. Different the prices, auction. different different auction prices. Got it. Yeah. Yep. So, um, it's actually out of stock, so you can't actually buy this anymore. So, um, perhaps they'll be coming out with uh, another release um, in the years to come, but um, we'll see how we go. So, I think we mentioned last time that Hallier's Road was what, the biggest distillery um, in Australia, uh, exporting to more than 20 uh, different countries. So. Um, I thought I'd give this a go. I did enjoy the uh, the other one. Mm -hmm. So while you uh, open that, it's got a, a twist top. It hasn't got a cork. Mm -hmm. uh, while you uh, open that, uh, um, I'll read a little bit about the, the, the whiskey. So this was first produced in 2012. Um, and it's been distilled from uh, Tasmanian barley. Uh, malted barley, uh, pure rainwater and yeast, and then aged in American ex-bourbon oak casks for a minimum of uh, 10 years. So the, uh, the whiskey has been uh, combined with um, some, some peated spirit to produce the, uh, the slightly peated um, um, mm -hmm. product that we have here. Yes, it's a, an unusual description, slightly peated. Or it is. is. That, is that a general technical term of how they describe whiskey? Um, I think, yeah, I think it's it's peated or, or not peated, but slightly peated is probably <laughs> so, somewhere in between. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> mm, what a, what a nice, uh, nice nose it has. A little bit sweet. It is. It's uh, quite quite sweet, it's quite mm -hmm. aromatic, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I smell the peatiness coming probably, through. Probably a, a little bit, there's just a hint of it. I smell sort of citrus, vanilla. I can smell yeah, some vanilla. I think, I think the, um, the sweetness was the vanilla. I think so. Let's hope the taste is as good as the, uh, the nose. Mm. Yeah, I can definitely smell the, the smoky. Smoky, it's, it's just there. It's it's yes. it's barely it's barely there, mm -hmm. but it's sort of an undertone or undercurrent. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's give this a uh, a go. Mm. That is a very strong taste. It is. What uh, happened to me was when I tipped the glass up, all the um, fumes. It just hit me in the eye. Oh really? Yeah. In the eye. Oh the, yeah. This is um, forty-six point two percent alcohol, so it's a bit right. um, yeah. a bit stronger than I think you can tell some of the other uh, some mm. of the other whiskies. Mm. That that was quite unusual. That was initially was quite a sweet, very smooth. Um, I didn't. I didn't see that. With 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 sort of the 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 the, the bite of perhaps the alcohol mm. immediately after that, and quite a long lingering 
sort of smoky. I need I need to have a few more taste. sips, mm. but my first tip, I didn't really enjoy it. What a complex whiskey. It's it's sort of it's sweet at the the front of the palate. Uh, it's it's sort of butterscotch in it's sort of the middle on the side of the palate um, and then the middle of the palate brings in quite a sharp sort of peppery taste with a smoky lingering yeah. aftertaste. You, you don't like it? No, I don't like it. It's actually quite nice. It's as nice as perhaps the Highland Park. Um, I don't think it's anything like it. You, you don't think so? No, no it's, it's really quite strong, smoky and peppery and... I can still taste the, mm. uh, the, the smokiness. Yeah. Well, well and truly yes, after. It's, it's, uh, uh, you don't like peaty, uh, the, the peaty smokiness? I am not sure I'd like the full peat scotch. <laughs> Well, I think I've got uh, one that's quite peaty Have you? Um, in the auction purchase, so we'll have to um, yeah we'll have to build up to that perhaps. Yes, perhaps. I mean, I mean, you don't have to like everything that you drink, do no, you? No, you don't. And this is probably one of my least favourites. The really? other one, yeah, I prefer much more. The Highland Park. No, the other Helios Rye. Yeah, the, the original. Yes, yeah. yes, it wasn't PT, was it? Yeah, I, I'd say that the other Helios Road is probably um, preferable, um, neat. Let's have it on the rocks. I've, 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 there's a bit of melting uh, happening. Maybe the water's released some of the soluble oils. It certainly cut down the nose a fair bit. It's, it's, it's mellowed it slightly, but for me... It's brought out the peatiness. The, the, the peatiness is still too strong. For you. It's actually... The, the, most of the pepper's gone now. Mm. Um, some, of the, some of the fruitiness at the start of the palate's still there, mm. but I think the predominant flavour is the, the peatiness. Definitely. Um, it's, uh, it's still with me. Still with you? Yeah, the finish is lingering. Mm. Mm. So you don't like it? No. Sorry, folks. I don't like it. I, I think it's quite uh, quite a complex whiskey. Yeah, it is. Um, it is. I, I haven't typically liked PT um, whiskies before. But I think I'm slowly coming around to to liking it. I think I think I like the the, the different um, complexity in it. Yeah, yeah, it's complex. Um, that's that. It's peppery. It's uh, definitely there's there's uh, vanilla. I think yeah. there's citrus, um, sort of butterscotch in the, in the middle uh, palette. We've used those words to describe others as well, which have been. Much easier to drink. I th I think this is um, yes. It's it's. I don't think it's a beginner's whiskey. <laughs> um, I, I think that's what it's, I was just thinking. I think you need to be a bit more of a seasoned whiskey, whiskey drinker, drinker to, to appreciate, to appreciate the, this. And I am not. Not. No. Hmm. You like it. I think I like the original better. better. Yes, yes. Um, we all like some things better and some things less, don't we? It's nice, but I'd if I had a choice of the the two on the shelf, yeah. I'd, I'd go for the original. Mm. I mean, they're, they're basically well, um, well, not the same price because I bought this really cheap at auction. But I think uh, mm. recommended mm. retail that they're the same price, and I'd probably reach the one. reach yeah. for the original. You got two of these now, though. It's going to take a while to go through then. Indeed. Regretting buying two? Um, not really, no. because I think they were exceptional, good prices. So, um, mm, it's good price. So buy something like you don't want. Well, it's, I'm, I'm going to drink it. There's, there's no doubt. One that day. I'll, One day. I'll drink it, but there's. Yeah. Um, 
a visitor perhaps might love it. They might. We're having people over tonight, so we'll, uh, we'll get them to... Give them a taste. A little bit of... of taste of, sampling. Of, of the ones that we've got um, on the go at the mm. moment. Mm, on that mm. slightly disappointing note for you, Joe, mm. um, it's a shame you didn't like it, but yep. but you've got your, your gins to contend with, I mm. guess, haven't you? Oh, yeah. And uh, let us know if you've um, yeah. tried a, a, a scotch that you haven't, a, a haven't liked. Uh, a whiskey, sorry, my mistake, that you haven't liked, or yes. you know, do you like uh, peatiness, yeah. or, or um, are you partial to peatiness, or you're like mm. Joe that, mm -hmm. that doesn't really like the, yeah. the I, smoky taste? I don't think it's a bad thing to say you don't like something. No, I don't think so. It's no. just everyone's got a personal taste, haven't they? So indeed. Yeah. And, uh, let us know what you like. Let us know. Please hit the uh, like and subscribe buttons if you've liked this review. And on that uh, slightly disappointing note for mm. you... Cheers. Cheers. Mm. <laughs>